Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 3 of the worksheet for chapter 8 for the intermediate algebra class. The one-to-one -one functions g and h are defined as follows. g consisting of ordered pairs negative 3, 9, 2, 4, 5, negative 5, 7, 8, 9, 2. h of x is x minus 13 divided by 5. Find the following g inverse of 2, h inverse of x, h composite h inverse of negative 3. So for the first one, we have to find out g inverse of 2. So if you understand the ordered pairs, it says that g takes the element negative 3, the x value, to the y value 9. The second ordered pair 2, comma 4 tells us it takes the input 2 and the output becomes 4. So that's how the ordered pairs are defined. Now g inverse of 2 means that what is that x value whose y coordinate is 2. So if you notice you have to look for the y coordinate 2. So this is where we see the y coordinate 2. This is a corresponding x coordinate for that is 9. So g inverse of 2 is 9. Next we have to determine h inverse of x. So we have certain steps involved to find out h inverse of x. So we write down the steps. Step number 1 is to write h of x as y. So y equal to x minus 13 uh, divided by 5. Step 2 is to switch x and y or interchange x and y. So x is y minus 13 over 5. Step 3 is to solve for y. To solve for y, you multiply both sides by 5. So x equal to y minus 13 over 5. So multiply both sides by 5 to clear the fraction. So we get y minus 13 equal to 5x or y equal to 5x plus 13. Then step 4 is to write y as h inverse of x. So h inverse of x equal to 5x plus 13. Next we will do h composite h inverse at negative 3. So let's write that left hand side h composite h inverse at negative 3. So by definition it is h without changing the order h inverse at negative 3. So whenever you do the composite functions you have to keep the outer function as is and we have to work on the first we have to evaluate the inner one that is h inverse of negative 3. So we have h inverse of x equal to 5x plus 13. So in this x must be changed to um, negative 3 the input. So it is 5 times negative 3 plus 13. So we get h at negative 15 plus 13 that is h at negative 2. So h at negative 2. So we have to go to the h function. h function is x minus 13 over 5. In this one we have to plug in x equal to negative 2. So this x here must be changed to negative 2. So negative 2 minus 13 over 5. So negative 15 over 5 which is equal to negative 3. So h composite h inverse at negative 3 is negative 3. Hope this video helps.